Welcome back to Afternoon Express on this Tuesday afternoon. It's cook along day on the show today. We're having lots of fun. So many recipes to be made, all right? Later on, that pork belly is going to be coming your way, and I hope that you guys are super excited about that. Clem is going to start us off with dessert, however, first. And Afternoon Express is all about that inspiration, especially when it's art and things of beauty that inspire us. And when it involves food, you can imagine how excited that gets us. The artistry and originality, not to mention the beauty of Caesar Stone, has led us to the kitchen for a dish prepared by our very own chef, Clem Pedro, who is inspired by Caesar Stone's rugged concrete, which has a sort of honed finish that adds incredible depth and texture to every single interior it adorns. Inspired by nature's mountains, dark grey, rock and aged concrete, this is a stone you want to cook on. It is. We liked it so much we covered the whole kitchen counter in it. I see. Uh, there's one thing I learned when I visited you at Winter Home. Urban chic is everything right now. Oh yeah, this is Team VC is like their big thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So concrete kind of, jungle. And I went with it. This dish is kind of inspired by concrete jungle. Yeah. You'll see why. Good chefs are inspired by the things that are around them. And that's clearly what you were surrounded by this. So you got inspired. So what inspired you to make something? So texture is everything when it comes to the rugged concrete. I'm giving this to you because it puts you to work. If you actually look at the stone itself, it looks like concrete. that has got a little bit of white, a little mm. bit of stone in there, and then the grey in the background. So the first thing that stands out is texture. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing on that. It's chocolate mousse with a jelly, a buttermilk jelly, wow. and some honeycomb. Crunch, Ooh. texture, jelly, everything. Got you. you gotta get working though, else we're not eating today. Right. So I've got some chocolate there, dark chocolate. I love the bitter flavor of this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go straight into our eggs that have been creamed with some sugar. And you've just melted this basically on a double boiler, right? Exactly, so over a, little, a very low heat, because chocolate melts in the hand of children. Not on the stove, okay? <laughs> okay. It's, it's an idea of how low your heat needs to be. I like that. Yeah, that's Just perfect. don't melt the chocolate on your children, please. That's not a good idea. We learned the first time on the show. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work. Okay. So, Dan, that looks really good. I'm going to cool. add some coffee. Coffee brings out the flavor of chocolate. Oh, wow. Did you know that? I didn't actually know this. This is news to me. Mm -hmm. I know that they, they pair very well, but I didn't know that that was a thing. So, must I fold this in? Start folding. Get it in there. You can be a little rough with it this time. Okay. Because we still have some more airiness coming in with our cream. So for the cream, all I've done is I've just whipped it to a soft peak. That's all I need to do. And then once you get it all incorporated in there, we're going to start folding it through. And if you look at that already, you've got such a beautiful texture. Yeah, that's and a it's delicious so simple. mousse as it is. It oh, is. Wow. So we're going to make it extra creamy. Oh, I like this recipe so much. Chocolate mousse, by the way, is my favorite. This and creme brulee are my two only desserts I'll ever eat if I go out. If you can make me a chocolate mousse, I will literally... I don't know, become your friend overnight. I'll, I'll accept a friend request on Facebook. Okay. That's what'll happen. Thanks, Listen, Dad. by the way, if you guys want to make this recipe and you're wanting like, to kind of keep it on your records to make your very own chocolate mousse, it's as simple as SMSing the keyword EAT to 33650. Remembering it'll cost you 150 and your free SMSs won't apply. You'll get all the details on your mobile device how to make your very own chocolate mousse. So don't forget to SMS that keyword, otherwise you won't remember how we did this. Mm -hmm. So because our Caesar on surface is food safe, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to smash our honeycomb directly on it. Cool. And it's scratch resistant. It's all of those Heat good things. Heat proof, absolutely. So working on your Caesar stone is like the best thing ever. It's the best friend in a kitchen. Yeah. So Dad, I've got some jellies over here, which is just some buttermilk. Oh, I've taken yum. some buttermilk and some honey, mm -hmm. mixed it together, and I've used a gelatine sheet. Mm -hmm. You know these guys. Yeah. And then I've just kind of mixed it together to make a jelly. So Jeez. I'm going to cut a very like little rough cube. What's so fascinating about this is I didn't tell Clem this, but obviously I told you that I like creme brulee and chocolate mousse is my favorite. This is like the bottom of a creme brulee and this is the chocolate mousse. It's like a combination of my two favorite things of all time. Dan, I'm a good friend, eh? I listen to I you like when you, you talk. <gasps> it looks like white chocolate. It is, absolutely. And the textures and the flavors are so amazing. Doesn't that look urban chic? Uh, yeah, kind of, but I've got only one important question. What? What is the rest of this going to do? Dude, that's mine. Oh no, I'm, I'm taking this. <laughs> I've claimed that it's mine, got my big spoon in hand, and if you guys missed anything on this recipe, make sure you head over, oh well, go and check out this quick little recap. Mm.